Welcome back to the Amusing Greg. Please like and subscribe if this video helps you. Now I've posted three videos so far on this channel of different products for cleaning diesel inlet manifolds. But what if we could actually prevent the problem rather than just cleaning up the mess afterwards? Is that possible? Well to answer that, let's first look at what causes this build up in the inlet manifold. Manifold build up is caused by two separate ingredients which are both the result of emission controls in engines. The first problem is blow by gases. Now during combustion it's normal for a small amount of the combustion gases to get blown past the piston rings and into the crankcase. The crankcase is full of air oily fumes so that pressure has to go somewhere. To prevent pollution, this oily gas gets plumbed back into the inlet manifold and burned into the engine. But in the process of doing so, it leaves a film of oil along the inside of the inlet manifold and all the rest of the intake plumbing. The second problem is that under some conditions, diesel exhaust also gets sucked back into the manifold through the exhaust gas recirculation valve, or the EGR valve as it's commonly called. Because this exhaust is dry and sooty, it sticks to the oil like flour does to water and then more oil gets layered on top of that soot, and then more soot on top of the oil, and over time this builds up like a lasagna on the inside of the inlet manifold. So can we actually prevent that lasagna building up in the first place? Well, that's what a catch can aims to do. It sits in the path of the blow-by gases, and by various means including filters and baffles, it tries to capture the oily residue in the blow-by gases, hold that in the catch can to be drained off later, and then send the now cleaned air onto the inlet manifold and back into the engine. The idea being that if the oil is removed, there's nothing for the exhaust gases to stick to, and thus you stop the build up. So, does it work? Well, I've spent the last 12 months answering that question for you. Remember, I did a full inlet manifold strip down and clean on my 2012 Mitsubishi Pajero at 200,000 km and a maintenance clean 5,000 km later, both with a liquid moly diesel intake cleaner but I was still getting this build up on the inside of the manifold, obviously because the problem hadn't been fixed. So at 228,000 Ks, I bought and installed a Provent 200 catch can kit for my vehicle from Western Filters. There are lots of catch cans on the market, but this one came well recommended, and the kit was fairly easy to install. The installation, by the way, went reasonably well, although they had cut a few corners. For example, two of the hoses for the catch can aren't at the right angle, so one has to be stretched to a wider angle, and the other one almost gets kinked closed. I also found the drain tap leaked. That's a bit of a pain because those things would have been easy things to fix if they'd spent a little bit more on using the right components. But anyway, let's move on and look at the catch can itself. How the well does it work? So this is on the 8th of April after about 2,000 kilometres of driving and you can see you're getting a little bit of oil building up on the top of the cap of the catch can. You also see here on the top of the filter, you see there's a decent amount of build up starting to get deposited on there. That's all that would have gone into the engine before. When you pull the filter out, you see how much material, <clears throat> in that filter material, how much oil has got collected in there. But down the bottom, it's actually still completely dry. So, so far, the filter is absorbing all of the oil, but nothing's actually getting out of the bottom. The bottom of the catch can is completely dry at the moment. We'll just give that a bit of a wipe and just, you can see that there's absolutely nothing on that middle finger compared to the other finger. Now, two days later, we've done a couple of heavy days of driving, and this is at the end of a long day when the engine's really hot. We'll take the lid off the catch can and just see how much oil fuming you're getting coming out of here. So check that out. So there's a lot of oil fumes that would have normally get sucked back into the intake, which are now being held in the catch can. So you see the, the top of the lid, we're starting to get more oil deposits um, sitting on there. Now when you pull the filter out, you see how much more saturated the filter is. Now you're even getting oil pooling out of the bottom of the filter. So it's definitely working in terms of holding onto that, and right down at the bottom, it's a bit hard to see in this photo, on this picture, but at the bottom you're just getting a tiny bit of oil right around the, the middle of the drain. So early signs are good, it does look like the catch can is working, the test will be to see how much gets in the manifold. Well, about 7,000 kilometres later, I emptied the catch can for the first time. Wow, that's more than I expected. Okay, so so far we've filled up one of these little cups. That cup take, takes about 30 mil, so I've just measured that. That's a 30 mil cup. So let's see how much more we've got in here. Not, not quite in the second cup. So, after about 7,000 k's, this vehicle, which has done about between 228 when you put the catch can on, and about 235 now, so about 7,000 kilometres, this engine has collected around about 50 mils of blow-by oil in the catch can. 
I then took a look inside the manifold to see how much oil had still got passed into the manifold. Well, first impressions are reasonably good. This part looks pretty clean, but let's have a look further in. Ooh, she's seeing some darkness in there. What's... Hmm, now that along the bottom looks just about as oily as before. There's definitely some black shininess in there. So this is the current situation. Let's now go back and have a look at a clip from an earlier video, which was 5,000 kilometers after I'd done the full strip down and clean of the manifold, but before I put the catch can on. Now let's compare what they look like. So as you can see, they both start are fairly clean, but when you get to the section where they start getting dirty, they actually look pretty similar. They've both got a similar amount of darkness in the manifold. And um, when we take this other view on the right hand side, after we put the camera down a few times, you can see how, how deep the build up is. It was only a fairly shallow amount of build up. Of course, after 5,000 kilometers, you wouldn't expect a lot. But we're gonna do the same thing with the, the current view on the left hand side now. We're gonna dig the camera into that and see how much of a mark we leave behind, just to compare them. So let's push the camera into there and see how much of a mark we leave. And you know, when you compare left and right, they do actually look kind of similar, don't they? Which is a bit disappointing. I was actually expecting the manifold to be a lot cleaner. Now, given we know that the catch can has collected a lot of oil already, I can only assume that the rest of the intake path already still had some oil in there, and that's just been blown through into this part of the manifold, and that's where the oil's coming from. So hopefully after a little while and that cleans out, we should find later on it looks better. When we returned home, the vehicle had done 246,000 kilometres, so another 10,000 k's since the last clean out of the, uh, of the catch can. And I got about 85 mils of oil out of the catch can then. Let's take a look what's in the inlet manifold now. What I'm going to do is to put the screwdriver down there and have a bit of a dig around to see what we pull out. This is well and truly past where the, um, the EGR valve comes. So let's have a look at what's on the end of the screwdriver. As you can see, it's black, but it's black powder. It's no longer the thick black oily substance we used to have. So as you can see, it still makes a mess on your fingers, but the main thing is that it's not oily. And that tells us that the ProVent catch can is working. So, does a catch can work, specifically the ProVent 200? I'm going to say a cautious yes at this stage. What I know for sure is that yes, it definitely catches blow by oil and stops that getting into the manifold, which is what it's supposed to do. You'll just initially continue to get oil build up as the residual oil in the intake gets blown into the manifold. And given how dry the soot in the manifold was at the end, yes, I'm pretty confident it's effective at catching almost all of the oil fumes in the blow by gases. So as a catch can, it does do the job effectively of capturing that oil blow by. So because of all that, yes, it stops the oil soot lasagna building up. However, what I can't be so definitive about is whether just removing the oil fumes via a catch can is enough to stop manifold deposits. I still have manifold deposits, it's just that they're dry sooty deposits now, rather than oily ones. I need to know if the exhaust deposits will actually build upon themselves without the oil, or if it's just a light coating of soot and the rest of it continues to get blown through. I suspect it's the latter, because just like a diesel exhaust system, but make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, because I'll check back in another five to 10,000 kilometers and see whether we have any more buildup. That will tell us for sure if a catch can alone is enough to stop the manifold buildup, or whether we also need modifications to the exhaust gas recirculation circuit. As a side note, I did try cleaning out this soot with another can of Liqui Moly diesel intake cleaner, but it didn't do much good. I'm guessing it needs to dissolve the oil in the build-up, and without that there, it had nothing to work on. If you're considering doing a manifold clean and a catch can install, I'm happy to recommend the ProVent 200 for the catch can. I haven't looked into any other units, but this one has certainly been effective. However, I would recommend installing the catch can first and running the car for a few thousand kilometres to blow through any residual oil that's left on the intake and then do your manifold clean. So you've got a clean intake to go with your clean manifold. Either that or you've got to remove the intercooler and all the plumbing and clean those out at the same time as the manifold. So I hope that's been helpful. I'm really enjoying researching and sharing this content with you and I hope you're finding it helpful too. So stay tuned and I'll catch you next time.